My memories was fear and uh, excitement and uh, ultimately thrilling. It, I had never directed a film before, a movie before, never did a single camera work before. And it was all, every single shot was on location, either here or in Paris. Uh, I um, went to France and met with the, uh, the local uh, production manager there and we scouted locations. And that part to me was, was exciting because again, I grew up, I speak French and I could relate. It, it felt like, oh, this is really grown up stuff. And, and um, then we started shooting and I, before we did that, I had to interview uh, directors of photography and I, I said, this is a wonderful opportunity, but I hope I am qualified to do it. And I had to, I had to call on myself to, to trust the things that I did know and to be um, able and willing to trust the people around me who could fill in the gaps. And uh, we had a, a wonderful uh, director of photography who was um, a teacher and a brilliant uh, DP and a good friend, and he really carried me through it. Um, uh, I wish I could remember Owens, something Owens. I wish I could remember the name. Um, and uh, we started shooting here in Los Angeles. We did uh, a few days, and then we all flew to Paris. And the thing that I uh, learned that I had to um, quickly apply is, is to, to really think on my feet. We were still caught in the problem of, um, of uh, minors and time, and, uh, and they were all overseas. They had their habits, they, um, uh, and sometimes uh, setups would take too long or whatever, and I'd have to adjust things to the last minute. So technically, it was, a, it was an important learning experience for me. It also was an interesting mixture of cultures because the French work in a different way. They're, um, they could not understand what this mania for let's do it fast. What is, lunch had to be catered. It was a sit down affair, always covered, no trucks there, you had to sit down. And, um, and wine would be served for the, for the adults and whatever. And I remember the girls kept asking for uh, McDonald's. They didn't want the Cornish game hens and all of that stuff. They could, I want a burger, I need a, a, a Big Mac. Uh, and so this was also the, the kind of juggling all things. And in, interestingly, you mentioned being an Egyptian or being and not born in the States when I came here. In this instance, there was a bit of an advantage because the crew there kind of felt a, an affinity because I may have been more one of them than one of them. And so they could talk to me and say, why, why do you always work so fast in America? Why do they do that, whatever, things like that. But, uh, but it all worked out well. And I, I look at it now, I've, I've, I watched it uh, not too long ago, a few years ago, and there was so much that I didn't know and so much that I would do differently right now. And, um, but all in all, it, it was okay. It worked well and it was, it was part of the, uh, of the growing.